Hello and welcome to part two of Isabel's story for the new expansion. So we have the chapter seven through twelve now, which should be quite interesting. We've just done one through six, so that's all good. After Eskamali's messenger withdraws, Eleanor departs once again by herself. Isabel decides to kill time by experimenting laboratory, making a mess while Eleanor is away. Seems legit. More battles, always good. More gold to open packs. Hmm, I see. Hmm. So if I just read this, then... Ugh, oh, but this book of practical spells seems like it could be tricky to use. Incantations? These are the source of her power. Hmm. Well, I'll try this. Shard of Shame. Gate mm, of wow. Emeth. Water be as blood, branches as bone, honey as flesh, and death as truth. Wow. Oh, that didn't feel quite right. But it's probably okay to call this a success. Isabel, I'm back. <gasps> Welcome back. I was just killing time with some of the materials and instruments around here. You were creating magical life forms in your spare time? You do seem to have a form of magical <laughs> genius. However, mm? you seem to have no organizational talent at all. What? What? What is the meaning of this? <gasps> There's no need to overreact. Overreact? Why are there books scattered across the floor? There are instruments all over the place. Oh my gosh, she's a neat freak. Don't you think it's a hassle to keep putting them back? Wait, what do I see under those books? Don't tell me that's a magic circle. You drew a magic circle right on the floor? Well, yes. Is there something wrong? I'm about to faint! Ouch! Only in the proper soil can the flowers of research bloom! I... Ouch! Ow! You! Clean up! <laughs> Sweep the floor this instant! All right, all right! Aren't you getting carried away? No, this is horrible! Terrible! I think I'm going to faint! But before I do, please get rid of that thing! Is that really necessary? I don't think I did such a bad job of it! It's not only not bad, it's in fact very good. It's tough to think that you made it in such a short time. It's truly lamentable that you forgot to include the silver of reason. It's going to go berserk. Oh my. That must be what felt different about it. I'll say this now. I won't allow you to create any further messes in my laboratory. <laughs> okay, so you don't want a big commotion. Got it. That's pretty hilarious, honestly. Could not fault that. Isabel, making a mess, ruining people's lives. Sounds about right. So defeat it nice and gentle then. Just stab it in the face. That's always the way to go, in my opinion. Alright, we'll hold the absolute zero blade. I actually quite like this card. It's good early removal, it's good mid game removal, and it's good late game removal. Especially with its adjustable costs for the damage, sorry. And the draw a card effect is a nice way to cycle a card if you take advantage of that. So I think it's a little bit nicer than other cards. We did get Rooney straight away, so that's even better. Although it does mean I may have to hold off on playing too many spells. I'll teach you real quick. Because I would like to budget these out if I can. Mm, don't want to waste Owl either. Alright, we're going to throw these. That looks like I've got some plans. Alright, double missile is good. The boosting worked out in my favour. We do get to spell boost using this. Destiny Bird should be fine. Unbelievable! We do need a turn three play that's gonna be half decent, and that was the perfect draw for it. Using a little bit weaker zero blade to really take advantage of it. Hey, let's play! And then probably just abusing Chimera should be enough going forward after these. Because turn 4 is going to be super solid. I mean, as if you don't want to play this and go for that. Especially with the spell boost. You're done for. The voice for the world! Okay. We should be able to get that playable very, very quickly. Looks like dragon and forest cards and rune cards. This thing's like a really mixed card. How could there be a future like this? No! Unbelievable! Right. Let's see. 
That definitely. You evade death. Then we'll throw the owl. Owl Evo should be enough. Pretty I don't have what I really want here, but this should be fine. Especially if I abuse my Chimera turn too. And now uh, we're just one off making that thing at least playable on 10. With a couple more turns, we should be able to bring it into play. Maybe even next turn we get a really good draw. Three spells will bring it down to eight, so not quite. I would need super good draws actually to do this. Alright, there's an Ogla. Not really an issue. I mean, that's going to be removed pretty much instantaneously. Not a huge problem at all. I don't know how else to react to it, but that's fine. So we'll get rid of it. I'm gonna go for the Suki only play. Darkness on this plane. I think Suki Omi is a super good play, so why not use it? I mean, Darkness it's got the advantage for sure. To the depths of the abyss. The darkness doesn't end. Alrighty. Now we get more interesting. So, a nice ping should be enough to deal with that. We can take advantage of Golem Assault a little bit. And then probably just abuse the Tsukiyomi again. So this time, I might throw the Evolve on it. Just so it can get more value. And it looks like this Magical Life Form deck actually has every single craft in it. So I'm actually fine with that. Uh, Chimera play kind of sucks. Now, how should I abuse this? That's the next question here. Best way to go about it would have been to just purely set up, I think. Because now I can ward with Snowman just fine. So unless they kill me this turn somehow, which looks like that isn't going to be anywhere near enough. I was a little worried for a second, I was like, oh no, Chimera, that could be dangerous. But no, it's actually pretty safe. So, this guy can put up a bunch of wards. Hey, do something about these winters. Just perfect. Yes, your majesty. And also then just play one of those and gain more advantage. Cool if one of those had wards. Then it'd be like infinite value, but that should be enough. I mean, unless they can clear this, I'm pretty safe. That was a real workout. Hey, let's play. Hey, let's I mean, play. I got my Conjure Guardians, which should be enough. That was a real workout. Honestly, they have to clear every single that card. Was a real not workout. Really, this works out pretty well. Clear the way. I think Snowman plus that is the best way to do this. So I actually really do like Snowman. Making this and then squashing it. Oh, I'm not sure how to feel. Making this and then squashing it right afterwards. Enough of the sentimentality. Wipe it up. Come on, you really don't need to say that. <sighs> Enough already. Are you some sort of child? Hurry up and clean! Ouch! Alright, I get it already. Ma, uh, she's a terrible Nate Freak. See? All good now. Nice try. There's still some dust left over there. People must tell you you're fussy a lot. And surely, people must tell you your body and mind are slovenly. So listen up. Now that you're here, you're going to obey my rules. I know. I'm not going to make any more messes. Even if you need to make any more messes, don't. Only in the proper... Can the flowers of research bloom? You impudence! Ow! I only said I was tired of hearing it because it's the truth. Your magical skills are solid, but you're incapable of anything else. Are all the mages in your world like this? I don't know, but probably yes. Well, then in your world, mages are surely called pigs and laboratories pig pins. How utterly hopeless. Oh, wow. What? 
What's going on? That gamekeeper was my pride and joy. Oh, poor girl. Sure, <laughs> you <laughs> yes. It was most insipid. <laughs> you Curious and had to be the time. What are you doing here? Already you know my purpose well. I have come in search of the strong. Hmm. So you mean that you'd like to fight with Eleanor Gloria? It remains to be seen whether this is worthy of being called a fight. I hope it may. <laughs> I love Urius. God, his well, voice and stuff so funny. Oh? A single glance reveals that you, like Isabel, have come from another world. Your flesh is clearly not that of a normal person. Fascinating. If such a thing were possible, I'd like to investigate you more closely. The overwhelming power that was able to topple my gatekeeper, this tremble-inducing might, it is fascinating indeed. <laughs> so this is your first time seeing a vampire? A vampire? In this world, they only exist in fairy tales. Hmm, this is growing more and more disappointing. But still, I'm about to knock you into nothingness. You'll be gone without a trace. That magic. Huh? What is this? You've entered my laboratory without permission. There can be no exceptions to the rules. You shall soon become dust, vampire. Return to the land of fairy tales from which you came. <laughs> oh, she wants to beat up Urius. Oh, that's that's hilarious. I want to see this so bad. I want to see Urius just like hold her off the ground by her head and just be like, "Really? This is the best you got?" Ah, revealing one's techniques would spoil the revelry. If you already know that, then keep your trap shut. There's no point in getting in the middle of that. It's probably going to take a while, so if you don't mind, allow me to guide you through the laboratory. I'd be grateful for that. Can't wait Are to see your sure battle. Them? We couldn't do that if we tried, and Eleanor seems to be enjoying herself at any rate. They say you vampires drink blood, but you'll never reach my neck that way. You'd be lucky to ever push me to the ground. What I feast upon is my own concern. You need only to fall down before me. <laughs> that does seem to be the case. I'll follow after you. Very well. This way. Oh, I wanted to see the Urius fight. That's that depressing. That concludes our simple introduction of the facilities. Do you have any questions? Let's see. Well, uh, it's not about the laboratory, but... Please, ask away. Thank you. For as much as she hates messes and destruction... She isn't holding back. It's been a long time since I've seen Eleanor like that. Urias is quite mighty. Mighty? Well, he's certainly in a league of his own. One more thing. There are four other guilds like ours, right? Yes. Nicola Adele represents a slight exception, though. As far as I can see, all seem very self-centered, including the Magus Covenant. How were you able to maintain any kind of balance? Were? Don't you mean to say are? Yes, there's going to be a war soon, she was saying that. I see. My apologies for going off on a tangent. Allow me to answer then. Simply put, no guild has any intention of disturbing the balance. How can that be though? If one guild were to eliminate the others, they'd receive its status, its property, and everything else. The Order of Blade Ride sees justice through, and it values protecting the people. Eskimali doesn't have any clear way to battle, so they can't to begin with. Nicola Adele can't be bothered. Counter Solari is the most combative, but since they have few members, they're not generally involved in any large-scale activity. And what about Magus? Yes. We have no interest in status or property. And that's the way that the balance of power is kept. It is, however, falling apart at the hands of Counter Solari. This is common knowledge. What sort of guild is Counter Solari? They are, in a word, assassins. Shadowy figures who kill people for a price. These days, they've become especially active. So much so that the townspeople are getting anxious. A group of assassins? They can't be left to their own accord. I've heard that they are skilled not only in the art of assassination, but that they command an extraordinary form of swordsmanship. Oh, well. <laughs> it sounds as if those two are finally finished. I'm back. Well done, ma'am. Isabel, I take my leave. Thank you. The information you provided me is sure to come in useful. 
Are you hurt? Well, knowing you, I'm sure you're fine. It was ultimately a draw of sorts. Or if I were to speak more precisely, my loss. I should have known better than to let ire and curiosity get the better of me. Two bookshelves were damaged in the process. Five whole books were bent, and the pages of one of those were torn. On top of that... Well, what's done is done, right? What do you say we start experimenting? Yes, that's the right course of action. And that's a... Don't make a mess. Precisely. I... All right. What sort of experiment should we begin with? <laughs> Just what you were looking for. The resurrection of the dead. It's a topic that fascinates me as well. Let us go about things in that general way. Are you sure? You don't stand to gain anything. No, I stand to gain everything. Your words and actions are all strange and new to me. All shall therefore become my knowledge. Now, if our preparations are complete, let Ooh. us commence. Eleanor emblem. Yay! I actually kind of like Eleanor's art. She's pretty cute. Mutual desires. On to that one then. Chapter 9. I'm sure there wasn't too much info there that was too relevant. How simplistic of you. To draw a soul close, you don't always need an intermediary, you know. You simply have to regulate the summoning process. Your procedures are too complicated. Even the magical infusion has ten individual steps. They're not complicated. They're precise. See, I've put the formula together now. You should call me efficient, not simplistic. The circle's ready. Pour your magic into it. One, two, three, four. Hmm, the pieces don't fit together. They don't, do they? I'll have to jump in and adjust the magic levels. Yes, let's try to improve things by working in unison as a safeguard. Well then, let's chant, Isabel. From the abyss show thyself. We call thy lifeless name to bring thee unto us. Four legs, two eyes, teeth, and ears. Felis Silve. It appeared. All right, now bind it in here. All right. Well then, let's see here. Uh, how could a dog have appeared when we meant to summon a cat? Something in the character of the circle must be fundamentally incorrect. Perhaps if I were to streamline my methods... It's probably because I'm not used to intoning. My circle wasn't able to keep up with the complexity of the formula either. I need to draw more precisely. Isabel, jot out three magic circles for me, would you? I'll take care of this thing. All right, give me some <laughs> literature on intonation and three formulae. Any three are okay. I beg your pardon. Eleanor, the repairs to the laboratory are complete. Ah, uh, thanks. There is a matter I would like to inform you of. Sure, tell me right here. Counter Solari seems to be active. It shouldn't be long now. All right, you're dismissed. Is something happening with the Guild of Assassins? It's nothing. All right, so now for the formulae. Don't you care about this land at all? Don't you want to stop the war? <sighs> you just can't get your mind off that, can you? If those dodos want to fight, then that's just what they should do. What more is there to say? But it's a matter of priorities, Isabel. A war would naturally present problems, such as how we'll no longer be able to focus solely on experiments. However, stopping it would also require time. In that same amount of time, we could complete a hundred spells. Don't you think it would be a waste? You really don't care about anything other than research, do you? No, I don't. You're just the same, aren't you? I can't say you're wrong. Our concentration's been broken. Let us rest for a while. Would you like any tea? I can do without the sugar, though. Why is it, Isabel, that you want to bring the dead back to life? <laughs> You're cutting right to the chase? Conversation is nothing if not sudden. But if you don't want to speak, then, well, keep your mouth shut. I want to bring back someone I love. I just want to meet him one more time. You've brought your magic to such heights in the name of a form of greed called love. That's not proper, is it, Isabel? It's a form of heresy. Well, yes. At least in the land that I'm from, they say that resurrecting the dead is against nature's order. It's forbidden. And still you proceed with such great enthusiasm in order to make your wishes come true. There's a chance that the one you love isn't looking for resurrection. And yet you proceed with these forms of heresy. I wanted to give up. You seek to fulfill your own desires above all else. 
That is the tale of every mage, is it not? I am a mage, and therefore I am the unwavering servant of my own desires. Why care about this land or its people? Hmm. I too am a child of men. I had a mother and a father. My mother was an average human, but for some reason she came to bear me. A child who had tens of thousands of times more magic than the average person. My mother was unable to withstand my power, and she drew her last breath just as I was born. Oh. My father... Well, on the day I passed the entrance exams for the Magus Covenant, his life ended. I joined the Magus Covenant at the age of 10 and became its marshal. Oh, wow. It was then that I made a vow. Sorry, what? <laughs> What indeed? Well, at any rate, Isabel, I act according to my own desires. I don't act for this land. Sorry for making you speak about something so unpleasant. I speak of this because I wanted to. Our break is over. Let us resume the experiment. <laughs> oh, wow. Just casual. Ten, cosmic flower. Eleanor explains that she was born with measurable magic power, but only at the cost of her mother's life. She vowed to make amends by becoming a great mage, but her father died of grief from her mother's anyway. So, that's kind of sad. Papa said he was glad that I was born. That even if I took Mama's life, I was meant to be. He was never good at lying. Papa, I'll become a mage second to none. I'll make up for Mama's death. I made this vow before the gates of the Magus Covenant. I hadn't even taken the entrance exam yet. Naturally, I passed, but all the same. Papa, I'm one of the Magus Covenants. The moment I opened that door, I nearly drowned in the scent of blood. Papa! My father always kept a photograph of my mother with him wherever he went. That's how I knew he loved her. And I knew that that love was making him suffer. Still... To think that one could be murdered by love. Isn't that right, Papa? Mama looked shockingly like me in the photograph. So I loved her. Papa was an inept cook. His food was awful, but it was good enough. I loved him. He was important oh, to me. I wasn't done loving him yet. But if that couldn't happen, then I wouldn't wish for it. But I could make a vow. I killed the one I loved and defiled the one I respected. My life has been a transgression against the order of this world. And so I'll bloom beyond the world's rules and beyond the blue. The number of things that I lost was enormous. Uncountable. What was taken from me was tremendous and it can't be returned. So the least I can do is compensate. From today, from this moment on, I will be the cosmic flower. I'll bloom proudly, confidently, and I'll display to the world my incomparable value. Hmm. <laughs> Her story is actually quite interesting. Well, we haven't had a battle for a while, so I guess this will be it. Progress on the experiment has come to an, a dead end. As such, Isabel suggests to Eleanor that they take a break outside for refresh their minds, a concept unfamiliar to Eleanor. Isabel grows concerned for the young mage's well-being. As you would. Ugh, it's no good. Things aren't falling together. It doesn't seem that they are. We've made correction after correction, and the problems just keep piling up. That is, though, well enough. The answers one finds on the other side of worrying and wavering have a value all their own. You're right. But we should do something to refresh ourselves. What do you say we go outside? Huh? What happens if we go outside? What do you normally do when you reach a dead end like this? Normally, I don't do anything special. Either change the literature I'm looking at or switch to another experiment. <laughs> that won't refresh you at all. I've never thought that I needed refreshment in the midst of experimentation. Ugh. <sighs> So you spend every waking hour researching or experimenting? Well, yes. To be accurate, I normally don't sleep very much, though. You're kidding. Of course not. Anyway, let's head out for now. It'll feel a bit different if we're just able to get some fresh air. That seems grossly inefficient, but I suppose if that's how things are done in your world, there's some value in trying it out. Of course, I'll... Hey, come on already. I'm not a child. You don't- You can leave the attitude at home. Now come this way. <laughs> she has always had a, like a motherly figure, hasn't she? Great. 
Don't you think so? To be honest, I don't really know. The air in your world and the air in this world surely differ in subtle ways. And it may be that dissimilarity that's causing the difference in our perceptions. You don't do anything to refresh yourself. You don't sleep. Hasn't anyone said anything to you about that? Like the other people in the Magus Covenant? I am Eleanor Gloria, the Cosmic Flower. None dare speak against me. Ah, oh, she's still young. No, still a child. And yet she doesn't even sleep, let alone do anything to refresh herself. Is she really okay? Those eyes of yours, Isabel. Are you no. worried about me? Well, yes, I'm a bit concerned. You're a peculiar person indeed. You're concerned about this land, and you're concerned about me. Why can't you go straight toward what you want? <sighs> I wonder. I can't say for sure. Mother, father, I'm sorry. She's not crying because she's lonely. She's crying because her parents are bound to this world. And they're suffering. Did I ever care about how Kyle would feel if I brought him back to life? How he'd feel if I bound him to this world? It's just like you say. I'm always wavering when it comes to approaching what it is that I want. Don't you want to bring your partner back to life? I wanted to do that. I still do, but... No. This isn't the right way. Move on, Isabel. Don't look back. I don't know. Don't know your own feelings? I didn't know that was possible. For someone who creates such complicated formulae, you can sure sound simple. For someone who creates such simplistic formulae, you certainly get deep inside your own head. Isabel. Rowan. Do you know him? Uh, yes. Could we have a few moments alone? Go ahead. I'll be back in the laboratory. You got here in one piece too, I see. Yeah. I heard that you were in the Mages Guild and came here. Do you still want me to kill you? No, I needed you to see this. Oh wow, what? <gasps> oh, Rowan, what happened to you, bro? You grew a wing and a dragon eye. I finally understand now. Understand the potential of commanding and controlling the Black Dragon's power. That's your way of taking responsibility, isn't it, Rowan? That's There's impressive. no simple way to do that. I'm satisfied with having taken the first step. But there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee that you won't go on the rampage again. Yes. You're right about that. Make me believe you, Rowan. Show me your power. All right. That is super I'll use awesome, this power. honestly. Not to die. I actually really but like to that. Live. Make me with his I fight to changes. live. That's impressive looking art, honestly. And he even has his leader art portrait with it, so like it means they've got full leader art for all this. Which would be amazing to see used as like some form of alt leader or something. I don't know what kind, but it would be awesome if we could see that. Oh, I'm a dragon slayer. That's all. But we probably won't. I mean, we never got to see the black dragon as a leader, but well, at least we got something cool. Oh. Moonshade Mage, still an awesome card. And I think could it work even better in Unlimited? Oh. Unbelievable! All right, let's see. Start with a good draw. I'm going to go on Assault play. Dragon's full side. Unbelievable! Don't really like any of this so far. We'll go with that one. At least it removes it from the board, which means we're not taking as much damage. I am a dragon slayer. Remove dragon slayer. Okay. And water of orcas. Cool. It's actually pretty reasonable to see those cards played. Um, how do I want to go about this though? Probably Conjure and the Magic will be fine. And I can probably just You're spread out my it. stats a little here. Killing off the 3 1 and leaving up the Orca should be okay. Was that really it's a very defensive control rune, so kind of impressive. 
but it finishes off early enough that I should be able to take advantage of it. Of course, Salamander had to ruin my day, but when doesn't it, honestly? So I think with everything I've played, yeah, I should get a full board of snowmen, which if I set up as wards might be enough. Actually, I might go on the assault with them instead. Uh, uh, that's awkward. Wonder what they chose. I can still go on the assault, which should be fine. Hey, do something about these winters. This is just the job for me. It won't be long now. Stoneman assault force should Give be good. Me your cl clear the way. It's cold as cold as Oh, should have attacked. It's fine. As long as we don't lose because of one damage, we should be okay. We still have a full board of stuff. Draw two cards. He's still no match for Mr. Dragon. Right. Yep, no. okay. That's so fair. Sorry. Be gone. Alright, our next turn's where things get more interesting. So so sorry. Hmm. So that's only summons three snowmen, so it's not really enough, honestly. Still room for improvement. What's this at? Eleven. Yeah, we'll go with it. Do you lose? He presents a lot of damage, so. Should be more interesting. The opponent's not really going for much. Spread your wings, growls, and mighty. Mm, dragon flame. Let's get it. That's not good wings. at all. Super awkward. Me giving up. It won't be long now. Never. Yeah, at least I should be able to kill that. These scales can't be pierced. Spread your mighty wings. Hmm. Even if I play this, it's not going to give me a huge advantage because we're not going to get many cards out of it. So I'm probably better off saving it at this point in the game. Although, Conjure Golems look pretty good. I mean, it gets those out of my hand, sets us up with a nice board, and if I use the Tsukiyomi, I can actually clear this Darkness and still get its clash ability off. This ends here. I'm honestly Welcome interested in seeing what I can do with this. Sukumi has some good potential, especially the if it's out of my hand. Alright, there's the breath, so that is going to at least kill the Sukumi. Spread your wings, growls, and mighty. Spread your mighty So now wings. Unbound Witch plus Sun and uh, Moon and Sun, sorry, it should be okay. But I do have to deal with as many of these as I can, so killing these off is going to have to take priori priority here. The Unfortunately, that's fading. the only choice I've got. Hey, do something about these winters! This is just the job. It's cold it's as Kokaitis. Cold cold as cold as <sighs> All right, we go for another suki because it's cheap and effective. It's cold as Kokaitis. So now we can start swinging the game to our favor. We bought ourselves some time. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, okay. So that's actually our first loss, surprisingly, and honestly, it's not too bad. I do know what to at least expect from this guy, and I think with a slightly better hand, I could probably take this game a lot easier. This deck's definitely solid enough to hold its own. This is just a single match that I think could be awkward. I'm really hoping it doesn't take too long. If I get a good hand here, I should be okay. Make me believe you. All right, going first. Now that we know what to expect, and we actually got pretty good draw power here, along with boosting this four drop ready for play. If I get him to go off early, it might be good. Well, we can't use the owl boost, so that's kind of disappointing. Fit with my curve a little nicer. Just in case I get a two drop that I can use. Alright, what do they got? I am a dragon slayer. Uh, heroic dragon slayer is so strong. As a two drop, like it's just a nightmare to deal with. Alright, at least that was a good way to do it. 
So that's now a 6-4 on 4, which is basically the perfect hand you can get for that. You can't ask for a much better one on that card. The only problem now is the fact that I can't play it because of this. This card literally limits me playing what I want to play here. And that really disappoints me. I'm going to do it anyway, but I feel like they're going to instantly answer it, so really it's just kind of a waste. At least I should be able to buy enough time with Grand Summoning and Slow Man to push my hand. Alright. So that's not doing much good to me. So because I can abuse the Grand Summoning, hopefully, that might work. Even though that spell boost is kind of useless. I'm mainly just trying to filter out some cards. He's kind of annoying too. Let's go for it. It won't be long. I'm gonna send the scrap golem for death. That should leave us with a fairly solid board at least. And if I get a chance, I'm gonna go for whatever I can. He's still no match for Mr. Dragon. The only real pain in the ass card is the fact that they can use that 10 damage card, now. which I think I may have underestimated just slightly. You harm Mr. Dragon. Although they're not using a perfect ramp sort of deck, so obviously that makes this a little easier on me. Alright, we should be able to use about these. Winters. This is just the job! It's called as Kokaitis! Kokaitis! All face. Uh. Alright, we're ahead. So, turn 9. They aren't killing me this turn. Rescuing people's a hobby of mine. Alright. They're either getting a Dragon Strike Blade or I'll Blade. Back to the castle. It looks like they took Blade. Oh. It's actually okay. Time to say Although goodbye. that evolve is a nightmare to deal with. I see justice through. So my That's my steering so, so knowledge draw sorry. has to be perfect. For it to actually see usefulness. Perfect. That's it for now. Uh, and I get a chance to set up a Sukiyomi, which I still think is the better of the two here. It's cold as Especially in this deck in particular. Uh, Infinite Sukiyomi is amazing. Rescuing people's a hobby of mine. Okay, mind. another dragon blade, no doubt. Spread your wings, proud and mighty. Okay, that's a little annoying. Spread your mighty wings. Only because it trades so well. But that's okay. How's this? Can't really stand to take that. Of the <laughs> Fill my hand with those. It's cold as Kokaitis! Alright. Looking at an amazing Sun and Moon hand. That's it for now! Unbelievable! Oh, did I reach? Hmm. Well, Spread your mighty way. I'm trying to think of a better so, way to use this. So sorry. I am a fiction and a false note. Darkness on this plane. Darkness right, on this plane. Good. Darkness on this plane. Darkness on this plane. Let's see where they go. Alright, that's even better. Spread I'd rather see that than anything ways. else right now. Dragon Strike Blade! The right, there goes end. one. Death is another now fiction. they're removing the lows. Well, as long as the one survives. To the depths of the abyss. I can recycle them. The darkness doesn't end. Okay. So even losing those, at least I can start recycling. How's this? So as long as I don't die here, 
I'm good. Oh, come on. Uh, at least they played it as that, though. To the depths of the abyss. In some ways, that's better than nothing, the I guess. Doesn't end. Although it's going to be difficult, no matter what happens. Because they do get massive heal out of that every single turn, I think. It's an absolute nightmare to deal with. Yeah, so... My best bet is to just try my best. Perfect. That's a good one to get. Transform effect, although it's already activated its effect, so drawing five is absolutely nuts. No stop in this land. At least I can start using Sun and Moon again. If I get even luckier and draw into another one. Wow, okay. That's really good. Darkness on this plane. Okay, two of them. Darkness on this plane. So I can at least start playing them out like this. It should be alright. To the depths of the abyss. The darkness doesn't end. We're gonna see a lot of Sifu in me, I think. The darkness doesn't end. Where's my draw? Rescuing people's a hobby of mine. <sighs> Dragon Cleaver Roy. Unbodied Witch, perfect. Grant me your words. I mean, I can still only really play two at a time. Yeah, but it's basically infinitely abusable, so. And they're all animated. Haha, <laughs> because that was my animated witch. Awesome. Dragon Strike Blade! Might have been the wrong choice. Even if it was, this should be at least interesting. I really wish I could draw any card that would stop this from being broken. Light for all the world. Now if something survives, I can just continue to play them out, which is good. The only real downfall here is any kind of storm. I am a dragon slayer. That's uh. all. Unbelievable. Yep, I'm dead. That no. card's not fun. That's your way of preparing all right. yourself. These two games have been absolutely nuts. I really don't want this to end up having to drag out the video because we keep getting really like unlucky in this matchup. Uh, we're just gonna go one more go with this, and we'll see. I just got stall lock. That's the problem. If I didn't get stuck locked on that, I might have been okay. But I just had nothing else to really go into either. So, Dragon just has really Make good cards too. You. I fight to live. Let's go for it. All right, that's good. Conjure Golem. We've got a turn one draw, which is perfect. I really want to get my other legendary. If I could have got that, I could easily win this match. But I haven't been able to draw it. I run two of it, and I can't get it. And I don't know why. Um, I'm able to get Unbound Witch as many times as I need, but for some reason I can't get anything else. Which is super disappointing. Oh. At least we should take the lead here, so that's always good. Perfect. Circle actually works with me in this matchup. I am a dragon slayer. That's all. Dragon's hands for so annoying. Okay, I still can't go for what I want. But at least I can use these. Get as much as I can to face. They do have the priority evolve though. Rescuing people's a hobby of mine. And a really good card. Dragon. All right, so it depends on where they trade. I bet you we're gonna see an our trade, honestly. And if they do, I'm gonna be a little disappointed because I really would love to use my owl. But even the AI isn't that bad right now. All right, Unbound Witch is useless right now because we don't actually have anything to use it on. I do have Mutagenic Bolt, which is handy, I guess. Spread your wings, sprout, and might. Every Spread single turn seven. Wings. No! 
they have this. Now. Why do they have to have this every turn seven? These scales can't be so much value. Spread your mighty way. Now I gotta play Mutagenic Bolt, which is disappointing. Spread your wings. Well, at least that's gonna be basically useless here. I'm trying to think of whether I can actually ignore these rats. Unbelievable! And if it's only no. one turn, I think I can. I am a fiction right, that's good. I don't actually have any spells anyway, at least not yet. Mm, that spell's not great anyway. We've got plenty of rats, not which is good. For. I can use the golem here to clear the Two, three. Oh. And I'll let the rats start dealing more damage. Okay. I should put him in lethal range, honestly. No stop in this land. Okay. Death is another fiction. That's sucky as hell, but I mean it worked, so it's partially a bonus, I guess. Uh, Prophecy of Boons. Cover two play points. Not really that useful. Not yet, anyway. I see to the ends of the world. I really want to use that with the evolve, because then I can actually take that to my advantage. Um, if I leave this on board. And I let it do its thing. Play the owl just as fodder. We'll see. Any solutions better than what I got now? Dragon life blade. How okay. could there be a future like this? Fair spot for it to go. Perfect. It won't be this is now. what I always wanted Unbodied Witch to do, and it's finally doing it. The only hope is that I don't die. Because that would suck. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these aren't going to really do much, because I'm more winning on board, but at the moment anything's better than nothing. Oh no. I'm gonna die because I can't kill that, aren't I? This is a nightmare. Sukiyomi can't help because it's not gonna present anything enough to get rid of this. And Wizard of Oz isn't gonna help me either because I can't play everything here. Destruction for you. Mm. <laughs> That's a nightmare. Even though I had such good cards. I only needed one turn. Just one. Uh, Damn it, dragon. Alright, I might leave a time code for getting past these losses in the description below. So, if there is too many of them, you guys should just be able to skip ahead. Unless you guys enjoy these losses, I mean, they're still entertaining enough and I'm showing off the deck in different ways that I wasn't expecting to, so that's always Make nice. Me believe you. But I'm definitely going to try and get through with just this deck live. alone. All I need is a reasonable hand. And this isn't actually too bad. Especially now that i got Snowman. Hmm. It's actually more interesting now. So of course that's still a good turn one. And that actually opens up a turn two. Don't play anything. Just skip your turn. Thank you. Thank you, Dragon. Finally, you show me some compassion. After all these years of just absolutely being an annoying craft, you showed me little compassion. Don't play the guy. Thank you. Thank you, Water Orca. That's what I like to see. You're a bro. You know what's up. Being an awesome Water Orca. Nice. 
Sukiomi is good enough, personally. I'll save my Conjugal for next turn if I need it. Actually, I probably want to go straight into Death anyway. Alright, that's disappointing. Sukiomi instantly countered. No! And no way to deal with the two twos. Okay. At least I can get this out early. I see to the ends of the world. Imagine if Wizard Balls did convert that to one in the full hand. That'd be a nightmare for them. No! No! Alright, this is fine. That was right. be a future like this. I'm sure they already attacked, so that was kind of a waste. They won't let you harm Mr. Dragon! Yeah. So it was a little bit of a waste on their part. Um Ward and Spell Boost, probably. You're done for. How much health have we got? 14, so I can't actually afford to take that 4 no matter what. Still room for improvement. Should be able to bring that into playable range pretty quickly though. Rest Especially if I get another turn. Dragon Strike Blade! Oh, of course. Unbelievable! It won't be long now. Give my zero attack actually some value to it. That's it for now. All right, now I should be able to take advantage of everything. Come on, Salamander, though, ruining every single plan I laid out this entire game in a single turn. Hey, do something about these winters. Yes, mm, your Majesty. At least these wards are good. Although I'm still not bringing prophecy down at all, just disappointing. I am a dragon slayer. That's all. Oh come on! Uh, that was a real workout. It won't How be come now. I finally get a good hand, and they have literally every single no. counterplay of every single turn? It's absolutely devastating when something like this happens to you, and I literally have no counterplay to this now. There's no way for me to make any kind of rebuttal against this without a draw. Was that really all I had? Okay, at least now I can improve my turn a bit. Oh. Clear the way. Okay. That's better. So it gave me an option. Whether that option is going to work or not is the next question. Okay, that's fine. Wasn't instant death, which is a bonus. Without strike though, it ruins basically everything. And now I have no good way to counter. Actually, I'm dead. Flat out, I'm dead. There's no way for me to come back from this. Because <sighs> I'm dead to an Evo. Time to say goodbye. So game four, also a loss. That's your way of preparing. Kind of disappointed by that. Such a good hand, but every single turn being countered makes it literally impossible to beat. But I'm not one to give up. So if you guys have stuck around this long for this already, we're in for the long haul. Game five against the same deck. I don't go down without a fight though, so Rowan better Make know that. Me believe you. I fight no, to we're going win. second. Magic Owl holds no value in this hand without something to actually boost. All I need is for Dragon to not get its crazy shit on curve. If it has a crazy turn every single turn, it's impossible to counter. Especially since they're using unlimited cards, which is reasonably unfair in this sense. Okay, now I can start countering. Bet, watch him kill this. Watch him. Rescuing people's a hobby of mine. That's fine. I'll actually accept that. I'm gonna play Matarasu. Just in case, because I know they're probably going to just kill it off. Dragon Life Blade. 
Alright, there's Heroic that's Dragon Slayer, so that's to be expected a little bit. Now we can take advantage of the Clash, at least. Blinding light, I'm shimmering. All right, that's good. I can actually use a Marasu now. Give a couple more plays, that should work out. You're done for. This is the wheel in the sky. I'm shimmering. All right. So instead of going for the Sukiyomi play, going for the Marasu play does allow me to keep my health up, which is good. And it does force their trading. Which is also quite good for me. Finally, there we go. I see to the ends of the world. Might actually be able to do this this time. Spread your wings. Right, on curve, on seven. Mighty. Honestly expected it. Spread your mighty wings. Watch them use something else too and get How more stuff. Like yeah. Honestly, super predictable. These scales can't be pierced. Spread your mighty way. Not that it really lets me counter it anyway, but at least it being predictable is always handy. So we'll get rid of that one to start with. The flames are faded. Because that makes my life a little bit easier. I can actually go for some good spell boosting and conjure play. Which is fine. I would it like to save an Evo now. for turn 9 though, so I'm a little disappointed that I'm going to be forced to actually use Evos now. Looks like I managed to get into my Snowman King, which could work. No match for Although, Dragon. Snowman King loses instantly to the big board flood kind of clears, which suck. Ah. It won't be long now. Alright, probably going to be forced to use Snowman King. Like really disappointed by that Dragon. one. So I would have liked to have saved it, but I don't think I can at all. Hey, do something about these winters. The Snowman King's the only way I remove this entire board in an effective manner. This ends here. Without just dropping dead. Give me your cloak. Clear the way. It's cold as Kokaitis. So so sorry. Oh no! Don't tell me I missed that. Ah. Why didn't it drag when I needed it to? This is getting to be a nightmare, guys. Unbelievable. Honestly, super difficult. No stop in this land. At least with the deck I'm using. Back to the castle. Of course, something like Earth Ring no is easy, land. but so sorry. I'm really persistent in getting this deck to work when I need it to. Okay, so that's actually reasonably fair. Of course, I would love to play my golems, but I don't think now's the time to do that. And Sukiyomi is looking really good with Devo. A little better than a Matarasu right now. Unbound Witch might be where I go with this. I haven't really decided yet. The end. Hmm. Actually, Unbodied Witch would be just a huge loss. So we might not play that at all this time. We'll definitely use that. And we might actually go into the goal. We'll both boost the prophecy and give me something to use. So it means I can actually ward next turn. You still no match for Mr. Dragon. If that's all they play, I'm okay. I am a dragon. And slave. that absolutely that's ruins all. what I was doing, so great, thank you. But I, I don't really have a choice but to set up. Destruction for you. Because this way I at least stand a chance. What are they aiming for? Storm. So that thing's not going to be big enough, is it? <sighs> That's Stop. extremely dangerous. No good way to spell boost either. I am a fiction and a false mm. That's going to go up to six, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I set up a couple of Matarasus. Light for all the world. 
then I can use this. I'm just gonna hope they don't immediately follow up with the second one. That would be devastating. Why? Why is my life like this, guys? This is a bloody nightmare, I swear to God. Double 10 damage drops immediately followed up as an AI is absolutely ridiculous as a play. You spend your whole turn putting in everything you've got to remove the 10-10, only to immediately follow up with another 10-10 that avoids wards, regardless of if I had any or not, which makes it impossible to counter. Make me believe you. Especially when healing isn't very easy in this matchup because you're focused more on trying to actually kill your opponent, which you need to do. And of course I get double golem assault, which is really bad. Everything else works, I just can't get a good hand to go off when my opponent's playing every single counter to my deck. Makes it really difficult at this point. Let's see, Golem Assault gives me the Conjure. Next turn, Mysterious Knowledge into Conjure. I mean, it does something, which is good. Anything I can do here is better than nothing right now. No stopping this lad. Seriously, no. see, a vowed strike instantly counters. Can't come up with anything to go against it. <sighs> I see to the ends of the world. Might need to just build an unlimited version of this deck and run that instead. I could probably then win in one go. I am a dragon slayer. That's all. What are we gonna see happen? Evo? I am a dragon slayer. Of course, double heroic That's dragon all. slayer, you know, the only completely uncounterable card with my current On cards. My heart, I vow. And be forced to play my no, magic missile into like my other uh, missile. Which actually now that I've drawn double magic missile on it, was just that really all I had? Still a shitty way to have to do this. Was that really all I had? At least that's gonna be okay. The owl's gonna help slightly, as long as they don't have something big this turn. Unbelievable! Three damage to my face, two damage to my face, setting up for a lethal on ten, of course. That's what you'd expect from this craft. You're done for. Probably just gonna put out a ward. Buys me time. And gets me the spell boost. Which will actually be playable next turn. Not next turn, but the turn after. Once I use Missile and Absolute Zero or something. Alright, so basically perfect counters here. Not surprising. It won't be long now. Could play Snowman, use your roll. That won't allow me to play Prophecy though. Insight, okay. Which, not really that useful. I mean, at least that kind of opens up an option. Although, I probably should just use Absolute Zero instead. Alright, what are we gonna have? Evo, to of course. Going for as wide a board as possible. These scales can't be pierced. Spread your mighty ways. Which now makes my play literally impossible because I'm going to lose if I make the play I wanted to make. Hey, do turn. something about these winters! Yes, Your Majesty. Always seems to be the way I swear. Now. Give me your cloak. Clear I finally get a good option. Turn the seven, every fading. single time. Hellflame dragons. Literally nothing I can really do against them. And follow up immediately by blocking out my snowman with 2-2 two, two ah, removal. I just don't know what I'm meant to do against no. that. How do you counter against that turn? Because right now I can't think of anything. I've tried, I can't come up with any options. Ugh, there's just no decent way to counter this. Which is absolutely devastating. Like, one of those is dead. Awesome. I can set up a ward, which might buy me a turn if I'm lucky. Can't now use my rats because that will instantly kill me. 
Prophecy's almost at zero, but that's no good. And any kind of I removal here is instant yourself. death, so... What do you do against this deck, honestly? Now I'm forced to build a different deck just to counter this matchup. Which I hate. I hate when decks are forced to do that. So we'll be back after I build probably an unlimited rune deck to beat this and hopefully have some more luck. Okay. So, new deck, new attempt, similar promise, hopefully a bit more of a chance. At least that's what I'm hoping. Alright, that's actually good. This time unlimited, so I should be able to counter some of the cards that they have, hopefully. Of course, I probably could have just went with Earth Rune, but... Eh, we'll give this a shot. Alright. This time I'm playing some more priority removal and something like Glow, which should give me some advantage. And a lot more draw power, which will help. Make sure I get everything I can use. Especially with stuff like this. Rescuing people's a hobby of mine. Mm, very tempted to return that, but I don't think I can because it's a free drop, right? Which will make it impossible to return. So fortunately that turn is a pass. What are we gonna see here? Five drop, okay. I can counter that next turn. That's fine. And with everything else we've got now, that should be good. Awesome. To the ends of the world. So it's gonna be tough. You're done for. But everything in our hand is spell boostable, excluding glow. For the world. So even just one spell boost there is great. From here on out, I should okay, be able to hopefully start taking like this game in my direction. Dragon life blade. No. And that wasted Evo, well not wasted because they do get to boost off it, should still be good for us because I can return that one I think, which will be half decent. And the Magic Owl now opens up a whole new range of plays, especially with two of them. It won't be long now. Hmm. That's it for now. Trying to think whether that's the right play to go into Fate's hand and the Fate's hand, but I think I'll hold those just this turn. Because I can do some crazy stuff coming up, and I'm looking forward to it. Alright, should have expected that, honestly. Not surprising. Should be able to naturally counter it, though. These scales can't be pierced. Spread your mighty wings. Alright, I can remove most of this. Yeah, okay. Evo Owl. This ends Would have preferred to use it on Witch, but this will have to do. Naturally get rid of these two. Fill that off. Fate's Hand. Give us an okay draw. Can go into a second Fate's Hand, but might hold off on that one because I can take advantage of it next turn. I am a Dragon Slayer. That's all. No stop in this this is looking better. I'm just gonna deal with those two now. Can't really use this, but the Petrification isn't gonna help me either. So we'll start by using Missile. Was that really all I had? Get rid of that. And then we'll go for it. Another Fate Turn. So we're going to use this one. Even though we're not going to really have anything useful to do with it, but... Next turn's looking to be crazy strong. Even without Undying Rich, Witch here. So I can actually use something else first. Before I even consider playing that. And if I actually go in the right order here, I can probably even do it more abusive stuff, but I don't think it matters now. Here comes some real magic! Destruction for you. 
don't care. This is going to be awkward, but should give me a pretty good turn, honestly. So. I'll take that to the face. Stop! I wish I'd have been able to play Undying Witch with it, but honestly, this should still be fine. Time Worn Mage is playable. May as well take advantage of it now, I can. Uh, we'll go with this thing, and we'll actually take this one. I see to the ends of the world. Prophecy of Boons. If this card has been spell boosted at least five times, so it's not really useful yet. I'm just a mage who's as old as dirt. But I would like to see them handle this turn. Okay, that's a pretty good way to do it. I'm all tuckered so out. Stop. They are dead anyway, which is good. So, after all that trouble, uh, we finally I win. I just had to completely change decks, which sucks, but we did it. So it's over. Chapter 11 completed. Longest chapter such pain. ever. Hopefully you guys dealt with it okay. Now we get to find out what happened to Rowan. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Rowan, you must have gone through so much in this world to gain powers like that. I'm sorry. I'm still learning. But I'll... No, I don't want to see this. I'll end up wanting to forgive you. Forgive you for murdering Kyle. Go, Rowan. I understand now. Right. No matter what happens to you, the facts won't change. The past won't change. Remember that. Because if you change... Then I'll have to change too. No. Finished yet? Weren't you going back to the laboratory? I'm not sure about that. I found myself wondering about you. Your bad habits appear to be contagious. Bad habits? That's a harsh way to put it. It's a joke. Don't take it so personally. Uh, I know, I know. Do I really look that down? You certainly don't look happy. Oh. I'm helpless. Whatever the people around me do, I just follow along. In so many different ways. Hmm. You're suffering so much on account of setting your roots in the ground. You should set them somewhere outside the world. Like me. Aren't you lonely? That came out of nowhere, Isabel. Conversation is nothing if not sudden. Lonely? Nah. Even if I were, it, it would be meaningless. Hmm. I don't really know. You might be right. Surely you're nice and refreshed now, Isabel. Let's return. Yeah. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, Interesting. This land, this girl. Rowan, I'm always getting distracted in some way or another. Would you hate me if you could see me, Kyle? Or would you just smile and laugh and tell me I'm being ridiculous? Crazy. Honestly, crazy. Seeking answers. And we have to fight again. Okay, I thought maybe chapter 11 was the actual final fight, but I guess chapter 12 actually is. I forget these things. It's alright. Oh. Your magic's getting a bit rough around the edges, Isabel. Do you want to take a break? I should. Sorry. Something seems to be bothering you. You seem lost. Really? You can tell all of that just by looking at my magic? No, I was simply able to read the expression on your face. You could tell from my face? I like that even less. There's something you're seeking, and there's something I'm seeking. I'm a mage, and you're a mage. But you worry me. Why's that, I wonder? I wonder if I'm just weak. That's what I thought at first. But that's not what I think now. You're strong, you're intelligent, and your magic is rock solid. We're the same, but we're different. Is that the result of our different worlds? I'm not sure about that. It could simply be a difference between you and I, rather than our world. I... I've always gone too easy on myself. It's been that way ever since I can remember. But especially since I was with him. He fulfilled my every desire. He was all I wanted. Everything that I was, I was with him. Ah, so you learned how to be this way. Or, I should say, you were taught to be this way. Hmm. That might be why I'm lost. No matter how much sadness or hatred is in my heart, I'm still too easy on myself. If your behavior is learned, mine is innate. This way of life is the fate I was born into. It makes sense, then, that we'd be different. I know that you're not as soft as I am. You see what you want and you go right for it. Eh, I'm not so sure about that. I simply made a promise. 
In exchange for the irreplaceable life that I loved and which loved me, I bloom outside this world. In order to make up for the life that I took, I became a worthy flower, and I stand proud to bloom like no other. I see. So you want to change the world in order to prove your own worth? Hmm. This flower has taken two lives, each one of a kind. It's only natural that I'm worthy of changing the world. Huh. This is the first time that I've spoken of any such thing. Feeling a bit better? No, quite the contrary. My heart's feeling heavy, and it's all your fault, Isabel. Me? <sighs> Count of Solari assassin? Huh! What do they want with this? What indecorum? What do you want, Counter Solari? Magic's Covenant. Whose side are you on? Answer wisely, or you will be eliminated. Answer. You're telling me I'm on someone's side? Pathetic. Such complete idiocy. Don't you know my other name? Answer, Eleanor Gloria. In that case, I will answer you as the cosmic flower. <laughs> I bloom for myself alone. Gaze upon me in awe and reverence. Your actions have been judged hostile, and you will therefore be eliminated. You worthless descendants of fallen knights! Do you think this flower can be crushed that easily? I'll back you up. I don't know who these people are, but they need to get out of here. <laughs> Solari assassins. Always so harsh. I'm still wondering what happened to some of these characters. I mean, we've now seen at least half the cast, which is a I'll bonus. I'll back you up! I mean, we've seen Arius's, obviously, we've seen Erica a little bit, we've got Isabel, and we've got Luna. We also saw a bit of Urius, so there's five. What we're really missing now is Portal, which is, um, I forgot his name now. I'll remember at some point. We've got, um, we've seen Rowan, actually, as well. So, actually, yeah, we've only got Portal and one more. I'm trying to think who it is, and now just completely blanking on it, but that's fine. Ah, Eris. Portal and Eris, which they probably will actually tie together, I would assume. Considering how their stories have gone so far. Hmm, this is bad. End of the line for you. Yep, no spell boostables. This is actually quite bad. Prosperity upon this land! If I don't get a spell boostable soon, I'm going to be in some real trouble. Hmm. There's one at least, but definitely gonna be a slow start. Your sight, my blade. This might just be a bad match. Just based on this draw alone. That's a little bit better, but still not great. Really, I'm only playing the defensive game right now. I'm gonna need your soul. All right. Your soul. So I clear out no. three of these pretty effectively and leave one up. That's pretty much the best option I've got. I'm just a maid who's as old as dirt. You're done for. I forgot this guy does. It's just like back in the old days. Whenever it's cause you can hands back. Okay, yeah, fine. Gone. The next Gone. generation will rise. Alright. Now we're on a roll. Let's see what we can get. Celia, I hope strategist, okay. We won't give him an inch. It's actually a little out. more interesting. We'll use this first. Mainly because it's about to be Get rid of this thing. And we might just go with the commence experiment. Into nothing. Because I get a feeling like they're gonna play something bigger and I don't really want to waste it on one two. If you insist I do. Fanfare enhanced five of the four. Okay. It's a little dangerous, but nothing I can't really handle. No! And there's the one that's more interesting. 
It won't be long now. If I get Undying Witch, we could actually have an interesting it's just game like going back on. In the old days. There. Which I would much more enjoy, honestly. I knew that I... I'm not worried about this 1 2 for the moment. I'm more worried about something bigger. Mine to conquer. Like that guy. Unbelievable. That guy's now dangerous. He must be dealt with immediately. Of course, I will take my draw first because that's the smart thing to do. Guided by the moonlight. Kind of wanted to play out my 7 7 drop, but I'm going to hold off. I must return back okay. to my homeland. They went for the enhanced. The speed of lightning. I can't that one the left here. alone. Okay. I'm trying to work out where I should go with this, honestly. Right now, I can't actually come up with any solutions. I mean, I know my best bet is, but can I really do anything? Since I got a really bad hand. I'm in a really bad spot. My return of that's at least good. And then our play would seem okay. Obviously the 7-7 seven, seven isn't going to stick, but it is going to do nothing because they're actually dead on board. Thank you, Counter Solari. You're so useful. I might just wait it out. Is that the best you can do? Alright. No! No! Not to accept defeat on that one. I blew it. I think that was just purely bricking was bad. I'm sorry this video has gone on for so damn long, guys. Hopefully you guys did take advantage of my little skippy thing that I added to this so that you guys don't have to obviously watch through all these defeats too much. At least I should have hopefully added it, if I remember, in the description. But if you do enjoy watching me lose to AIs, this is the kind of video for you. Sometimes you just don't get lucky, and this is the situation you get stuck in, so... This hand's a little bit better. I mean, we do have, a, you know, a 10, 10 boostable to start with, which is always good. I never got into Although, princess them playing stuff. Axe Princess on the first turn does for the most part. Something I want to test out with that deck, personally. Your fate's been set. Okay, no! not really an issue. I mean, returning that should be fine. As long as I have a play every turn, I'm happy. Your sight, my blade. Right, that thing's gone. Oh. Not leaving it up. I do want to get rid of this though. I fell behind. Hopefully, I'll do that with. Time Your on the next turn. Set. Your and of course I can't because they play no. doubles. Great. Hmm. I'm just amazed. Who's as old as dirt? You're done for. So it's a matter of decisions. It's just point. like back in there. A violation of the castle. A violation. So without D shift, this hand's really quite awkward. If you insist, I do. Now they played the Enhance, which means Great they get to job. draw a card, which is always good. Probably going to go for the trade, maybe. Uh, here goes everything. Full face. Uh. face. Okay. That's what might do it, I guess. I don't want to do this. Yeah, we'll go this one. And Prophecy of Doom. I see right. to the ends of the world. Just trying to think on how I want to handle this it turn. Won't be long now. And after considering it, voice, this is what I want. I hear the world like a world! I knew that I... Gets me a spell oh, boost, which is always good. In charge now. Got me the Prophecy of Doom, which is going to be a pretty good if potential card. I still don't agree that this thing should get all the effects it does, but... Okay. Let's trade. Oh, could there be a future like this? Oh, we finally got something interesting. I'm just amazed. Who's as old as dirt? Now I can actually get this an interesting spell here. out. It's just like back in the old days. We'll go for it. <clears throat> so if I can actually bring D shift down to ten, it should be okay. 
This strategy will do it. No question. Herb strategist. We won't give him an inch. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw an Evo, honestly. This will end. I will win this battle. Depending on whether it's the right time to just I'm play one of these flame destroyers out immediately. Seems like probably the best bet is to use one of them. Probably the highest cost, of course. Prosperity upon this land. Noble Chancellor, probably all face. No. No. They can do crazy stuff with it. Set up a lethal next turn if they want, I guess. Screw them. If they're gonna try me, I'm gonna try them back. I shall guide you to glory. Of course. Basic countering. Uh, no. Face. Uh, so they have lethal I next turn. Why do I always I get a matchup like this you. where they have the exact kind of card they need as their counter, but I never do. That's what disappoints me in this game. Like, I mean, all I'd need is a half decent hand, and this deck would absolutely crumble beneath me. Which would be fine. But of course, I'm the one who draws absolute like shit this. and can't do anything because my hand gets locked. It's always my luck, I swear. I hate that message too, I wish it would just not pop up. Okay. Let's go back to this one and give it a go. Two losses against that already. It's kind of shitty, but at least the games are quick. I usually lose pretty initially. I'll back you up. Time to mm, going choice. second always feels a little awkward too, but I'm gonna hold the unbodied, unbodied witch. We really just need a better solution. Like, cause watch. Turn one hourglass is an amazing play. How do you beat that? Really, in this case, you don't because you don't have those cat natural counters. Dealing unbodied witch, I can't waste my evolves, but I also don't have anything to add to my hand with witch that I could really abuse, so that makes it even harder, of course. And then so on, so on, so on. You end up where I am now. Come on, hurry up, make your turn. Sight, my blade, Samurai, super irritating. Not much else I can do. I can at least pump that guy out. Alright, we take two, two damage, yeah. We deal with these at least in some capacity, I guess. Try to onto it. Either way I play this is going to be bad, so... That was the worst possible option I could have went with though, and that was a stupid mistake. You're done for. Stupid mistake. Now they've actually just got more trades. I hate that I have to use my evolve so early just to survive. That's what makes Unbodied a little harder to play. To I could pull off some crazy combo with it you. that would allow me to zero everything out. It could definitely be amazing. But we don't have that synergy and we don't have those abilities, so we're dealing with what we can with what we've got. It won't be long now. Best way to naturally counter to naturally counter, so. I mean, Not wards like are going to be their arch nemesis. If I could have at least got my snowmen, I could have set if those up. Assist, I don't know if they have a natural counter to board wiping and stuff, but I think that's the best play. That's fine. I can actually deal with that pretty well. I knew that I. Well, don't get to use unbodied in the way I'd like, but. Al's good. And I can start going on the offensive. It's much more important to me. I shall guide you to glory. But of course, instant counter. 
has to have that on curve in their hand, perfect timing, no real issues, I mean, what else would you have? Nah, sleep Yomi, with a buff, harder to remove, more solid. I'm gonna need your soul. For science. I'm trying to think of how they deal with this easily. To the that way. Of the That's fair. Doesn't end. Need lose? Why never? Might go for the Sukiyomi one, just because the Matarasu gets instantly Darkness countered by anything with three health, which is unfortunate. Alright, another storm, so probably gonna trade this one hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never. Gee, is that going face? I if it is, that's kind no of a nightmare. More. Why would you send that face? That's kind of a pain, How's honestly. This? To the depths of the abyss. The darkness doesn't end. Another I am a fiction and a false Now's my chance to play a Madarasu for some healing. And if even I can just use Snowman for a double ward, I'll be happy. Spear. Where's that going? Alright, that's okay. Death is another fiction. That's perfect, honestly. Blinding light. I'm shivering. A violation of the castle. Hmm. Hey, do something about these winters! Yes, your majesty! Just trying to think of the best way to do this. At the moment, the healing's important to me because any kind of big swing will absolutely decimate me. Mm. I, and I really want that to happen. I shall guide you to glory. Okay, that's actually not so bad. That's a real work mm. Great job. Mainly because it's instantly countered. charge now another of hmm. god's trials I that, a fiction and a that was actually kind of disappointing because i could have played better just gotta hope that doesn't die immediately would you like to know my name with an evo that's bad even without it that's bad death is another fiction Actually, no, it's not, because Witch of Oz, Wizard of Oz, again, in my hand is actually super good. Hmm, I really want to use that, but I don't want to use it. <laughs> don't want to get it abused when I got Unbodied Witch. But I feel like if I need to make a play, I that should be it, right? Is that where I... Ah, oh, screw it. We're going to do it. I am a if I lose that, I lose it. But at this rate, I'm going to get something out of this, so... It's gotta be something after all. Of course I finally got my fucking Sukiyomi player again. But we got Snowman, so that's good. Happy. And that's bad. Death is another fiction. Trying to come up with another solution. At least they have no cards left, so that's good. Banished, draw. Screw it. I'm going all in. That's a ward, so it acts as a good blockade. If I get to swing with it, everything gets spell boosted by 10. I'm going to get to swing with this. Wow. Or oh, maybe not. The Evo will counter it, won't it? That's bad. But. Maybe not that bad. Because now they have no Evo, their top deck's the only thing they can rely on. And I can just play this again and this time probably smell, do a single individual snowman because then I can get one of him extra which will be a really nice way to do it especially if I can swing with this for spell boosting this strategy will do all I need is to be able to swing with this honestly we won't give him an inch. and it looks like we get to do that, it is magic that falls. awesome swing Big board. Wards. Hey, do something about these winters. God, this thing is crazy, yes, man. Deal with my wards. Come on, bring it. Fight Death me. <laughs> Slice through flesh. 
All right, that's fine. That was a real workout. It's honestly perfect. Six. That's twelve. It's not enough, so we're gonna just kill them off. This was a failure. I fell behind. Land away. Well, aren't you something? Me lose. So just a just a couple of big guys, honestly. You know, just a couple of twenty, you know, two twenty twos. Not bad. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So is it, does it have to survive? Whenever this floor attacks, spell boost. Yes! Get bigger! I just want to play one. I want to play the animated one. 33! <laughs> oh, that's magical. When that goes off, it's amazing, and I think even though we lost a few games, totally worth it. Just for that one swing. Finally! We have completed it. Now we just gotta wait for this story to progress. Yeah. Tell your master and tell your master well. Eleanor Gloria and the Magus Covenant will not participate in any earthly wars. What was that? There's nothing special to that technique. I simply manipulated gravity and blew them back. They were from Counter Solari, weren't they? The Guild of Assassins. Yeah, that's right. I swear, if they have enough free time to try ordering us around, they ought to be going after the Blade Rites instead. Does that mean that Counter Solari and the others are going to kill each other? That's a possibility, but not an inevitability. I don't have any other information. Sheesh, you're really concerned about this, aren't you? Yes, I am. This is quite a conundrum. This world isn't anything to you. Ah, no, wait. That's it, isn't it? It's that if this world falls apart, then your friends here would have no place to go. In that case... You're not wrong, but there's more to it. It's hard to explain. Even putting my own goals aside, I can't help but worry about things. Hmm. Alright. I don't get it, but got it. I've got that I don't get it at I won't worry and I won't waver. I will bloom as myself. I will bloom as a worthy flower. That I vowed. However, Isabel, you should worry more. You should waver. The answer that you worry and waver over may be one that greatly surpasses my own. I doubt it, but it's possible. All right, let's give this a shot then. I'll clean up the mess that Counter Solari left. Now. <sighs> this land, that girl, Rowan, and you, Kyle. I don't know what to do about our future together. I know that I won't be able to stay like this for long. Counter Solari, the Order of Blade Rites. The wheels are turning here. I need to worry, and I need to waver. I have to find it, don't I? My answer. Yay! Finished chapter 12. Completed. Available soon. Thanks for playing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, it was super long, and I do apologize. Those losses were absolutely shocking if you watched them all. If you didn't and you just skipped through, that's completely fine too. I wouldn't expect you to sit through all those losses. But as long as you enjoyed the video, that is the most important thing to me. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as soon as more story chapters are out. We will be covering them on this channel, so be sure to do that. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.